Hello and salut everybody. Welcome to my channel, Nick's Quarantine Survival Gear. Please like, share, subscribe, and add your comments below. And also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much. So question of the day is, what is the best and only way to start your day every day? So when you wake up, what do you do? First thing that you get, you, you realize that you are awake, what do you do? Do you grab your phone, check the social media, check your text messages, your phone calls? Do you kick your significant other, start fighting because they're preventing you from sleeping the night before for whatever reason? Do you run to the shower because you are running late? Do you go down to get the kids ready? Do you wake up and start worrying about all the stuff that you have on, oh, on your calendar that day? Do you wake up upset about the previous night? Do you wake up struggling and, and, and getting angry and complaining about how you're going to find work or how you're going to find something to eat or how you're going to help your family? What do you do when you wake up? I want to tell you that none of these stuff that I have listed or any other, any other stuff that we do is important. The one thing that we should do that is important in our lives when we realize, oh, I'm still in the life of the living. I am awake. I get another day to live. The one thing that we do when we realize that is to thank God, to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for waking me. Thank you, God, for giving me another day to live. Because believe it or not, when we were sleeping, Satan was busy. Evil was busy in our lives. Satan, demon, enemies were busy in our lives. Believe it or not, I'm saying it again. But God prevailed. We are awake because God prevailed. God's given us another day to live. Another, another chance of life. So the first thing we do is to thank him. When you get up now, you get on your knees. You thank him for who he is, the power that he has. You thank him for his creation. You thank him for everything that he's able to do, the visible and invisible stuff. You thank him for everything, all the open doors he has opened, will open, have already opened, still opening, about to open in your life. You thank him for all the closed doors that he has closed, will close, has already closed, still closing in your life. Because not every door that is open is from God and not every door that is closed is from God. You thank him for all the helpers that he has put in your, in your life because believe it or not, God does put helpers in our lives. Sometimes we know it, sometimes we don't. You thank him for your kids, call their names. You thank him for the roof over your head. You thank him for your job, even if you don't have it. You thank him for breath of life. You thank him for your eyes, your whole body, your health, everything you have, you thank God for. The visible and invisible stuff, you still thank him because there's a lot of things that he does that we don't see. You tell him glory for allowing you to live another day. You thank him for everything that day. You thank him for this brand new day that he has just created and allow you to live it. All the blessings, all the protection, all the forgiveness, all the miracles that is going to come out of this day. You thank him. And after you thank him, you ask for forgiveness and you submit your every second, every minute, every hour of your day, everything on your calendar, everything you're supposed to do, you know, you're going to do, you think you're going to do, you submit your kids, call their names again, submit your family and friends, your job, your, your, your meetings, everything in your calendar that you know going to happen, you submit, you put them all in God's hands. You put them all at his feet. You tell him to take total control over everything. Even the invisible stuff you don't know. You put them all in his hands. You tell him that you know that he's able to deliver you from anything and save you and protect you and bless you with everything. You know the power that he has. You tell him that he's the Alpha, the Omega. Tell him that he's the promise keeper, miracle worker, light in the darkness. His prison shaking savior. He's the chain breaker. He's the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Tell him that you know his impossible, possible maker. So you trust him. He's able to deliver you from anything and everything. 
You put all your needs, all your all, all your, your soul, all your requests, all your seconds, your minutes, your hours into his hands. You tell him to send the angels to help you to recognize his purposes in your life for you to submit to his will. Tell him to show you his purpose, even though they may be different than your will. Tell him to help you accept his will today. Tell him to show you, to lead you and guide you, to protect you, to show you what to do, what to see, what to hear, what to do. Help. Tell him to help you. Tell him that you believe that anything, everything that comes your way today, you will be able to handle in Jesus name. Tell him to take total control. I'm saying it again. Tell him to take total control over your life. Give God everything. Trust everything in him. Your hope, put your hope in him. Put your trust, put your knees in his hands. Everything put in his hands. Tell him that you seek your refuge in only him. Tell him to have his way in your life. Tell him to protect you. To show you what to do, what to see, what to hear. Tell him that. Give him all your hope, all your trust, believing in him. After you do all of this, then you can get on with your day. Do not wait till the end of the day to thank God. No, do not wait, to see, do not wait till the end of the day to see if your day was nice, if your day was blessed. If your day was good before you get on your knees and thank God, no, you cease it from the, the time that you wake up. You cease your blessings, your miracles, your protection from God. First thing when you wake up and you guarantee it for the rest of your, your day. So if you're not doing this already, if you're not starting your day this way already, will you join me in starting your day every day with God? Will you? Harm yourself and, and let God be your shield, your harmer, your protector, your deliverer, your glove, your antidote, your vaccine, your mask, your shield. Will you join me in making God this? Will you? If you haven't already, will you join me? Will you? Please share this video with everybody. Like it if you do like it. Subscribe. And please add your comments below. Thank you.